Hey, do I have to go meet the brothers? Do I have to? You should. But this is too nice. I'll be here when you get back. I love you. I know. I mean it. I love you. You're my soulmate. <laughs> I'd hope so. We do have two kids together. I just never want you to doubt for a minute that I love you with my whole heart. <laughs> okay, get out of here, weirdo. <laughs> laughing at man you could have played a little defense Dude, right were you playing on the other team i'm the only one playing defense like learn how to get a rebound dude a Good rebound Just standing there this isn't soccer juan yeah wow. Good one. i got dunked on <laughs> i saw what that's why you got dunked on bro no you're gonna start with this again i, mean, I want to see my little brother around for a little bit What's next? But you're gonna want me to start eating kale, get quinoa, tofu? Yeah. They won't kill you, man. Psst. Hey, man. Yo. What? Creep much? What do you mean? What are you doing, bro? Why are you staring at that girl like that? I'm not staring at that girl. Papi, you're staring, bro. I think it's like stalking now. She's probably afraid you're gonna wear her skin. You don't. I'm not staring at that. Well, maybe I am, but it's not like that. What's it like then, Cowboy Bill? Who? What? From Silence of the Lambs, man. The movie. All right, never mind. What's it like then? That girl looks exactly, and I mean exactly, like Marie. My girlfriend between high school and college. Man, it could be her. You expect me to believe you had a girlfriend? That's hot as that. My wife is as hot as that. Mm. Okay. Good on you, man. So enjoy those 30 old memories, man. It's not just 30 years. What? We reconnected about 10 years ago. I like a Facebook reunion. Shut up. Okay. But, yeah. This is before you married our sister, though, right? Yes. Yes. It was even before we met. But it was intense. I mean, those feelings I have when I was 18, they came flooding back pretty quick. I could see her enough, could touch her enough. And every time I was with her, it was like I was back home. I mean, yeah, man, she had, she'd aged, she'd aged 20 years, but she was still the same. I'd show people pictures of her, and they'd be like, oh, she's pretty. I'm like, nah, idiot, she's more than pretty, she's perfect. <laughs> she had me. So, what happened? Yeah, it just didn't work out. She was married. How'd you know? The story's played out so many times, man. She was looking for some fun, trying to escape her boring life. Let me guess, her husband worked too much, couldn't provide for her emotionally, but you did. Yeah. She called you the love of her life soulmate but when it came down for her to leave her husband she couldn't leave that comfortable life we provided for her to be with your broke ass I wasn't broke you're broke now I'm not we're just busting your balls bro but he provided a better life than you could right you seem to know a lot about this this happened to you don't drag me into this dude this is your shit 
It's unreal. What good news, Benjamin Button? Who? Come on, man. You never watched the movie? Come on, man. Well, the good news is that that sweet little thing right there, that's not her, man. So we'll just get out of here. Okay, take like that one. I'm getting dunked on. Oh, yeah. See you next week. Later on. Hey, you're home. Can you please help me with the kids? They're being ridiculous. Hey. Yeah. Help me with the kids, please. How are the brothers? They're good. That's good. Hopefully Juan and Marie can get together soon. I could really use an adult day, you know? Hello? What? Are you okay? I'm just a little lightheaded. Here, why don't you go sit down? I'll get you some water.
probably at work. Just uh, <laughs> been a weird couple of days. It's been some home, I guess. Anyway, give me a call later if you can. Bye, bye. some peace hopefully they'll stay out what you looking at oh just the high school yearbook you're reminiscing are you gonna let me see yeah i will but i'm not sure what you'd find too interesting i love your yearbook you were so cute let's find your page mommy what are you doing out of bed i'm thirsty i'll get you some water but this time you have to stay asleep okay Oh, hey, it's Brett. Come on, say hi. Will do. Hey, man. Hey, bud. It's been a while. How you been? Oh, you know, just slaving away. <laughs> I heard that. Huh. You good? Yeah. Can't complain. How's that fine woman of yours? <laughs> She's great, man. She just, uh, just walked out, said to say hi. Yeah, tell her I said the same. Will do. You missing the hills? Is that what's up? <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. This city's wild, you know? <laughs> yeah, I do know. I don't know how you keep from going crazy, man. I need my peace and quiet. Oh, whatever. It's not that bad. Not bad? Really? I bet you don't even hear that stinking siren in the background. <laughs> yeah, I guess I've gotten used to that. Yeah. Hey, why didn't you come in for the reunion? Dude, I wanted to. I just couldn't get away. I mean, those of you that had your kids early, you guys did it right. Yeah, we did. It was cool, man. We had a blast. Matt, Roger, Regina, Joyce was there. Tons more. Oh, you know who was there? Marie. Who? What do you mean, who? Marie. She was there. Yeah, man. And she looked great, too. I hadn't seen her in like 25 years, probably, since she moved away. She's... You guys dated that summer after graduation, right? Yeah. Man, she was something. Still is. She's not in Europe? No, she moved back last summer. Got a divorce. No. Oh. Yeah, she's out near you somewhere, I think. Her ex got some job in Manhattan or something. She moved the kids to be closer, so... You know what? She gave me your address. Let me check it out real quick, see if I got it. Yeah, Staten Island. That's near you, right? Yeah, it's not far. Man, I don't know what the two of you see in that place. Y'all were the only two in class who ever even cared to leave here. You should look her up, man. I bet she'd be happy to have an old friend close by. Yeah, I might. Well, I gotta hit the sack, man. 5 a.m. keeps coming earlier every day. It's good talking to you, brother. You too, man. I love you. Give the wife a hug and a kiss for me. We'll give her a hug for me and a kiss for you. You know, don't make it weird. <laughs> All right, man, I will. All right, bye-bye. Bye. stupid job. I work for a bunch of morons. Well, I told you you could quit if you want. That will we do. We need money and... Never mind. How's Brett? He's good. He said to give you a hug and a kiss. Then come give me a hug and a kiss. You okay? Did something happen back home? No, why? What do you mean? No, I just feel weak. I just need a good night's sleep. I've been acting really weird lately. What do you mean? I mean, the last few days, something's up. You seem distracted and pretty distant with me. 
Different with the kids, too. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. Everything's okay. Is it? Yeah. Everything's fine. Can I sit down? It's been nice seeing you around the last few days. Yeah, it has been. I missed you. Do you ever wonder what our kids would have looked like? Do you think we would have been happy? I do. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved your laugh. My life. Yeah, it was so lovely and free. You always made me feel safe, so at home. I always felt free with you. Do you know the happiest day of my life? I don't. Tell me. It was with you. It was a Sunday afternoon, and we went for a drive to get hot dogs. Just hot dogs. Nothing special. No, no reason to feel happier than most days, but I was with you. I just watched you drive. I watched your hands on the steering wheel, and I remember you saying along with the radio. I just thought you were so handsome. I do remember that day. It's the day we watched the sunset behind your mom's house. I kept sneaking peeks at you while I drove. You were wearing that hooded sweatshirt from the track team and those cut-off shorts. You were incredible. I'll never forget that day. Did you like that day? I did. I loved it. Would you go back? I think about that a lot. There are a lot of things I wish I could go back and do again. I don't know why we didn't make it. I don't either. I do. I know why. What else do you wish you could do again? He'll come back around, you know? Really? Sure, he'll find you again. And you'll leave me again. I didn't leave you. You know how hard that was for me. You? You broke my heart. Why? What happened? It's best you don't know. Nothing happened. I let myself give in to my feelings. I wanted to watch sunsets. I wanted to eat a hot dog. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to watch every sunset. I wanted to spend every day happy, together. And that's what you said we'd do. I know, but I couldn't. Why? Not everyone deserves to be happy, I guess. Sometimes it's more important to be responsible than happy. But we deserved it. We still do. Do you really think so? Do you think I deserve to be happy? Of course. Do you think we could be happy again? I want us to be happy. I want to take another ride. I want to watch sunsets and eat hot dogs. I want to take another one, another ride. One that lasts a lifetime. No, I just need to calm down.
scare me. Is everything all right? Yeah. I just need to calm down a little bit. You know I love you, right? Yeah, of course. And you're my soulmate too. I've never told you that and I'm sorry. I feel like you deserve better. Hey, it's okay. I know this life isn't perfect. What are you talking about? We have a great life. Yeah, but it's not easy here. <laughs> It's exhausting. We're trying to raise two kids, and just between work and them, I barely have time Th for you. This is life. It's not like we could go back in time and change anything. Mm. What's up with the white man can jump? What are you talking about? I can jump. I jump higher than you. No, oh, man, the movie. <laughs> the movie. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, just try not to get dunked on today. I was, I was fouled. Whatever. You know I was fouled. Well, your girl is back, bro. Huh? The one from last week, the one that got away, it's right in her spot, dude. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Where? I don't see. Right there in the black yoga pants and the blue top. I don't want to look. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. Wow, bro. Here, bro. It's beautiful. He got my God, bro. Dude, you remember you're married now, right? Yeah. You're married, you're married too. You can look, dude. Can we focus on the game, bro, so we don't get... I want to focus on your hat. When's your boat leave? I have sinusitis, man. What's it's, that? Sinusiti. Cuban thing. Yeah. I, I don't... It's a Cuban thing. I got to keep my head warm. I don't know Cuban thing. Your wife is Cuban, isn't she? Hey, Cuban boys. Thing. Back again, I see. You going to get dunked on again today? Foul. I was foul. All right, well, see you guys around. Hey, what's your name? Marie. Ah. I'm Michael, like George Michael, but just Michael. You, you all right, dude? Hmm? Yeah. Sure, man, sis says you haven't been doing too good. Well, she's, no, no I'm good, man. Yeah. Hey, I'll be right back. Hey, what's wrong with this guy? Oh, so hot, bro. Oh my God. She likes me, right? What's up, man? Well, hey, man. I've only got a minute. You, um, you said you had Marie's address. Yeah. You going to see her? I don't know. I might. What do you mean? She'd love to see you. I mean, she had a blast around the whole gang. You'd be another one. A blast from the past, dude. Hey, uh, I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell somebody. Dude, what's up? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, Marie and I, we had a thing. Yeah, I know. We talked about it. We, we don't date it, man. <sighs> no, I'm not talking about when we were kids. It's like 10 years ago. Lasted about a year. <laughs> How am I just now hearing about this? I never told anybody. <laughs> it's just messing with me, man. I mean, it was easy when she was an ocean away, but now that she's right across that river, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's this... Just wait. What do you do? Just text me the address, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got it. Why, why are you laughing? Oh, you're just such a... Oh, you know what? Call me later. <laughs> yeah, I will. Bye. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Why didn't you tell me you came back? 
Why would I? You're married now. You have kids of your own. Everybody says you're happy. You still could have told me. You live 16 miles from my house, Marie. That's closer than we lived when we were in high school. You got married and you never told me. How could you not tell me that? I had to hear about it from Donna. Donna! Do you know how hard that was for me? Do you know how much she loved rubbing that in my face? You don't, do you? You didn't want me in your life, Marie. You left me. You literally left me, standing in the rain while you drove away. I had to. The last thing you said to me was to find someone special and build a great life. I meant it. And that's what I did. I'm glad. Are you? Really? I truly want to be. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was getting married. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I came back. I'm sorry I didn't understand that you couldn't stay with me. I'm sorry I couldn't stay. It was so hard driving away, leaving, knowing that I may never see you again or talk to you again, knowing that you may never truly believe how I felt, how I feel. I felt helpless, like it was impossible to be with the man I loved. But it was for the best, it was. No, I had always hoped it was for the best. <laughs> I told you back then that it was more important to be responsible than happy. Remember? I do. Was I right? Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> I think we can be both. We just have to decide what it is we really want. Home. I thought you'd be out all day. I decided I wanted to be home. <laughs> My soulmate. Sir, are you okay? Sir, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. 